the meaning and origin of the term Magos, the Magi Wizard. To aid us in our quest, I will use the text from the book, The Magi in the Dervini Papyrus, page 53. There is a link in the description. In Greece, the term Magos, in the beginning, meant Persian priest, a priest of a positive nature, but also one of a darker spirit. The Magos have the ability to do amazing things, or perpetrate strange or dangerous actions. In ancient Samaria, this would be the Ishipu, priests who are openly working with demons and astrology, while under the disguise of healers. Medical practice was merged with pharma, pharmakia, witchcraft. The Ishipu may be the origin of the Magos, or Magog. The enemy of the gate, the wheel within the wheel. Due to the Sumerian culture falling from the pinpoint of Ashipu control in 2900 BC, 200 years later, Sumerian culture was gone. My question today, do the Kalu priests the Ashipu evolve into the Magi, Magos. Let's see where this information leads. The term Magos fast acquired the unfavorable definition of a magician, a wizard or sorcerer. Heraclitus is supposed to have addressed his prophecies against wanderers, I. Men of the Night, Nyctipolois, Magoi, Bucantes, Menads, the Initiates. In the works of Plutarch, Isis and Osiris, and the other Oriental mystery cults, including Mithraism. Here there is a description of a kind of Persian black mass, in which everything normal is reversed. The rite is performed by night rather than by day. In the Orestes of Euripides, a Phrygian slave insists Helen disappeared suddenly either from the effects of drugs, or from the tricks of the Magos, or carried off by the gods. It does indeed sound like a psychedelic shamanic trip, and here the two equal the third. There is less obscurity in Oedipus Tyrannus, where the Theban king criticizes Tiresias as a magos, hatcher of plots, the crafty beggar, indicating that the Theban king believed they were devils in the flesh. For the devil comes in the form of a beggar, In the first Aclabiades, the Magia of Zoroaster. Sorry, there is no mistake. It is Zoroaster. The Magia of Zoroaster is praised as worship of the gods. 
and in the Hellenistic Aristotelian Magica. The author protests. The Magoi do not know or practice sorcery. Which means enough people thought that they did. For example, Odin Tyre was worshipped by the nobility, and Thor was a variant of Odin, created for the people, the hero and the villain, one with a positive nature, concealing a darker spirit. The original meaning of Magus and Magia in the Roman context was first to mean the official Persian priest, and later the meaning degenerated, because we always wake up, don't we? Pliny tries to reconcile the two meanings, Zoroastrianism and sorcery, and suggested that the Magikai Vanitates began in Persia, and they combine three arts, medicine, religion, and astrology. In the 4th century, the use of the term in Greek was flexible enough that Magos could have meant either an Iranian priest or a sorcerer. There have been arguments that the Magoi of the Diverni text might have been neither Iranian nor Greek, but instead Babylonian religious practitioners who had acquired the title Magos, due to the fact Persia ruled Mesopotamia. The Babylonian refugees, who were protected by the Persian Empire, must be the nobility and the Magos, the Ishipu. The nobility are protected by the Empire, and the people are demonized for the actions of the former Empire. Similar to the fall of the Sumerian culture, the fall of the Persian Empire begins with their arrival. This appears to be a repeated pattern. Next on Ancient Mystery, the Divini Papyrus, which is in fragments, but we can still learn a great deal.